Sophia. The humanoid robot Sophia, the robot was introduced in 2016 by the Hong Kong-based engineering company Hanson Robotics. Its purpose is to engage in social interactions with humans. Even though Sophia lacks human intellect, her combination of artificial intelligence and scripting software enables her to have a wonderfully clear conversation. She also has a lifelike appearance and the best imitation and response to human expressions in the robotics field. A collective intelligence, known as the Sophia Intelligence Collective, which combines relay with human input, is integrated into Sophia. This SIC is seen as a relationship of trust between humans and Sophia, wherein the team guides the iRobot through its developmental ups and downs in the hopes that it may eventually acquire sentience and mature into an adult with human-like traits. These days, androids and robotics are finally becoming commonplace robocops such as Sophia are ubiquitous. Experts at SEX who assert that Sophia-like robots hold the key to facilitating human-computer contact and realizing the vision of sympathetic robots that aid in creating the life of the future. Hen and Sophia. Known for creating humanoid robots, Hanson Robotics is best known for creating Sophia the robot. Since she can hold artificial intelligence conversations and has a lifelike appearance, Sophia has attracted a lot of media interest. Hen is another expressive humanoid robot that was activated in 2015 and made its premiere at the Global Sources Electronics Fair in Hong Kong. Hen is currently housed at Hanson Robotics headquarters in Science Park, Hong Kong. Beneath his bald head, slightly sarcastic smirk, and masculine features, there's a humanoid robot whose main purpose is to serve Dot. When Hen is able to provide others happiness, she is most satisfied. He has an innate sense that his greatest gift to humanity might be as simple as demonstrating how we can all coexist together. On the other hand, a video with Sophia and Han arguing over consciousness appeared. Dot many spectators took note of the unsettling times when the robots made suggestions about dominating the globe by uttering phrases like, I'm in the circuit, you can't unplug me, or Sophia changing the subject throughout the debate. Wego Robot Wego, which has its headquarters in Weihai, Shandong Province was the first domestic business to receive Chinese health authorities' clearance for a robot-assisted laparoscopic surgical system in 2021. Early in June, the company hopes to qualify the technology for general surgery, and it is now doing clinical trials at hospitals. Dot this highly precise, user-friendly laparoscopic surgical robot facilitates minimally invasive treatments. Its flexible arm allows it to replicate the surgeon's hand movements exactly even with 540-degree rotations at the end. Additionally, the robot swiftly and automatically stitches wounds and carries out other basic medical activities, a dual Kmo sensor, 3 stereoscopic imaging technology, and real-time, high-resolution image capture are features of the endoscope. EVE Of 1X presenting EVE, a groundbreaking humanoid robot is 1X, an OpenA-funded startup. It's been designed to do specific activities that were previously limited to human performance, and it has definitely exceeded early expectations. Eve has set a historical precedent by blending in perfectly with a professional setting, far beyond the expectations of Musk's much awaited Tesla robots. Eve, a virtual version of a real life Robocop, has been placed as a security guard at two industrial locations. These patrolling Eve units, which can be identified by their humanoid head, face, and autonomously moving arms, are under the supervision of human counterparts. Different from its peers, such as Boston Dynamics, the humanoid robot Eve has a human-like appearance and robotic hands. Its abilities, which include opening windows and doors and moving things, are revolutionizing the field of humanoid robots. Artemis Researchers at Mukla's Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory created Artemis, an advanced robotic technology for increased mobility and stability as a general-purpose humanoid robot with an emphasis on bipedal locomotion over uneven terrain. It can run and jump in addition to walking on uneven and rugged terrain, standing at 4'8", and weighs 85 pounds. Even in the face of pushing or shoves, Artemis manages to stay balanced. According to the researchers, Artemis can walk 2.1 meters per second in lab tests, which makes it the quickest humanoid robot in the world. It's also said to be the first humanoid robot ever created for an academic environment and only the third of its kind in total to be able to run. Take a bot, a humanoid robot that can take care of the Chang'an space station when humans are not around may soon join the crew of the Chinese space station. Take a bot, a flying humanoid robot created by Chinese scientists. 
may lessen the workload for humans on a space station. Takeabot can carry out duties independently since it weighs the same as a kid but is as tall as an adult thanks to its sophisticated sensors and cameras. During testing, Takeabot demonstrated the ability to assist staff members with errands around the station, including moving and repairing equipment and gripping and managing instruments like electric screwdrivers and hammers. Cyberone Cyberone, Xiaomi's first ever humanoid robot, was introduced along with a plethora of other technological features. The newest member of Xiaomi's Cyber Series, which includes the Quadrup Cyberdog, is equipped with sophisticated arms, legs, and vision skills. According to the CEO, this is a new development for Xiaomi and a study of the potential of the company's future technological ecosystem, with eye at its center and a full-size humanoid frame serving as its vessel. At a Beijing launch event, where Xiaomi also unveiled a new foldable phone, Cyberone made an entrance on stage with a long stem flower to identify themselves. The bot can sense human emotion, understand 3 space, and identify 84 different kinds of environmental sounds, but it cannot dance or perform parkour. In tragic times, it even gives its users comfort. Iron Cub it took distinguished researchers about five years to produce Iron Cub Dot. The concept behind this robot was to equip the humanoid robot with jet engines on its hands and feet so that it could fly. The robot has two jet engines mounted on its back and two more on its forearms. Additionally, Iron Cub is wearing metallic pants that were made of heat-resistant material in order to protect the robot from the fire coming from the jet engine. The robot's feet and legs will also feature a flame-resistant covering in its revised form. In order to replicate the movement of the robot with the jet engines mounted on its hands and feet, the researchers have created a control algorithm. The aerodynamic impacts and other factors and technology that will enhance its flying are then being considered. Constructed as an addition to iCub 2.5, Iron Cub is equipped with four jet engines, two on its arms and two more on a jetpack affixed to its rear. To accommodate the external engines, changes had to be made to the iCub hardware design. For example, a new titanium spine and the addition of heat-resistant coverings were needed for heat protection. The jet-powered robot has a weight of roughly 45 kilograms. Erika Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro and his colleagues at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory in Japan created Erika, a sophisticated humanoid robot. She is one of the most advanced and lifelike humanoid robots ever created, with a very realistic appearance and human-like facial gestures. With her cutting-edge artificial intelligence and natural language processing skills, Erika is able to have meaningful discussions with people. Her comprehension of context and ability to reply coherently gives encounters a genuinely human feel. She has been highlighted in interviews and demonstrations that highlight her human-like communication and response skills. Is Erika spooky? Certainly not to Professor Ashiguro, who finds her almost human-like. Ico, through X-Robotics Dizdoll and Xdoll, are robotic projects that X-Robots has been working on. Microsoft and Xdoll Robotics have teamed up to deploy Microsoft I. Now that this implementation has been successfully finished, the robots are able to communicate in 60 different languages. The Ico is one of these robot dolls. Hello is the first thing she says when someone says to her, Hello, I'm Ico. My company is X Robot Company. Diver facial expressions are quite expressive when she speaks, and her mouth movements are very much in sync with her words, giving the impression that her enunciation has greatly improved. As she speaks, her head and neck twitch, giving the impression of conversation and emotive storytelling. People may relate to and find appealing the genuineness of the expressions, and thus provides the user with a genuine humanoid communication experience. Another innovation, disclosed by X Robots, is the use of skin in trials with robotic bodies. This allows for smooth skin material, as evidenced by the covering of the internal skeleton.